Hey traders, it's Monday, April 27th, 2020. I want to walk through the charts with our technical wealth advisor uh, system here. Now, more or less, it color codes the charts. This is the SP500, and I use the 30 minute chart and I zoom way out. So we're looking all the way back uh, almost a year, but back to last June. So growing way back in time so we can see the big picture. And I like the 30 minute chart because it gives you equal time intervals throughout the day because uh, there's always a half an hour extra in the trading session and if you go hourly you don't you don't have equal weighting if you go daily you miss a lot of noise and a lot of uh, chart patterns and a lot of sentiment shifting between asset classes now let's just take a look here now more or less when the bars are green we're in an upturn when they're red we are neutral and there's a couple key things here to really pay attention to now when we are in a strong bull market and we're we're trending to the upside uh, when the market goes red more times than not uh, it's way better to step out of the market and not short. So when we see a market reversal coming, we're usually scaling out of our position and we don't actually short the market. We actually buy a bond ETF like TLT. And when the stock market trades sideways, the bonds actually rally. Again, happens over here and over here, we had a bunch of early warning indications I'll show you shortly, uh, where bonds started to break out of a huge pattern. All of our underlying analysis during this whole phase here was telling us that something big was happening. And we got into bonds and slowly rotated out of equities and then the market collapsed. And now that we're potentially starting this bear market, we're not actually look, going to be looking too much to get into bonds during a, uh, a bear market. We're actually looking to short the market because how it works is during an uptrend, um, pullbacks in the stock market are usually sh quick and short. They only fall for two or three days. You have to almost pick a top in order to make money. And then they trade sideways or higher again. Um, so bonds are the way to play in a bull market. But when we're in a downtrend, uh, a bear market, there's more opportunity in falling prices. So we actually want to play an inverse, get short the index during these collapses. So let me just pull up the chart of bonds here. Now, this is the chart of bonds down below. And if you look at the price, so when we get a signal over here on the equities market to get out of a trade, uh, we get a um, pretty much a buy signal. We got a buy signal actually about half a day earlier uh, on the bonds. And bonds rallied. They had a very significant move. They went, uh, they rallied over 10% at one point there. Well, the stock market only fell about 3%. And then it traded sideways and then worked its way higher. So you can see the difference in these opportunities going forward. Now, if we were to just uh, zoom out and take a look at uh, the bigger picture here, if we were to just focus on bonds, we had this great big trend line here in bonds where this uh, falling trend line was down. We started to see this huge bull flag and knowing that if it was to break this uh, in sentiment and everything followed through, we could see a huge move to the upside. And believe it or not, the previous leg, you can't see it on this chart, but if you took a Fibonacci extension to the high, to the low, it actually gave us a target way up here. And um, so more or less, as the stock market started to rally, or sorry, as the stock market continued its rally, and then we started to see bonds break out. That's when we got into bonds here and we played bonds for a huge 20 plus percent move in the markets. And of course, the markets eventually started to roll over and crash. And that's where bonds spiked and peaked. And we played that opportunity pretty darn perfect going forward. Now, if we were to lay in some more analysis here, let's just lay in um, a few more layers on the SP500 chart. Now, these this is uh, eight different uh, markets and sectors and cycles. This is different analysis all kind of laid onto each other. I know it won't mean much to you, but it's, it allows me to gauge how the strength of the market and what it's doing. It looks pretty noisy, but uh, for a trained eye, uh, it's a very powerful tool. And more or less, what we're looking at here is the market had a couple of blips here where it started to show some weakness where it goes yellow to, to red it shows some weakness in the market but look how look at this big section here where the market went significantly yellow with some huge chunks of strong red which means money is piling out of the equities market and moving into the safe havens and uh, all kinds of different asset classes. Cycles are coming out of favor uh, for the stock market. So we had a lot of time here. We had a month and a half, pretty much two months of the market continuing to run to the upside. 
uh, of an early warning. And of course, as we started to get all these, we got into bonds and we played this move up in bonds. So if we were to just take a look here, we played this breakout, we got up and played this, this move into bonds getting out at the open over here. We eventually did see a huge spike in volatility, but it just crashed after that quite significantly. We saw this huge crash around 20, 22% in bonds to the downside. And, and now it's equalizing and trying to come back. Now, overall, the way the stock market likes to move is when we get a new signal on this type of, of market, usually we see after anything after a 10% run in price, wherever the 10% mark is, somewhere right in here, more or less we had this 10% run in price. And after the market has run 10%, usually it's going to stall and roll over. So that was a very significant run. All of our indicators are starting to, internals were starting to tell us the market is getting really weak and that it could uh, stall and, and start to break. And of course that happened just before our bonds started to come. So all these things come into play. And um, going forward, the key here is to know when to rotate into the, the safe haven or the, the asset of choice with the big institutions. And all this analysis allows us to follow what the institutions are doing, stay on the same side as them. We want to ride their coattails because wherever they're going is where that asset uh, is going to appreciate and move in value, uh, higher or lower, depending on the market trend. So overall, right now we're back into two green markets. Uh, SP500 is up. Bonds are holding up, and uh, bonds are holding up really well. We're starting to get back into this red, these uh, this kind of market trend here where things are starting to show some weakness. Stock market's going to gap higher. Uh, it could continue to grind uh, higher here for a little while. As you can see, it can continue to grind quite significantly for some time in this condition, but we do need to know that uh, bonds right across here are, are trading at a level that they could really pop and take off if the stock market starts to crash and, uh, and pick up speed to the downside again. So overall, we're watching these markets and uh, we're going to use this analysis to play these trends and get take advantage of these moves. So anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you in a little bit.